Welcome to the Koiman DIY Workshop. My name is Alexandra Ortiz and today we're going to be making an outdoor bench. This project is perfect for those backyard barbecues or just relaxing in the garden for some peace and quiet. Now while it may seem a bit complicated, everything is easy to put together and shouldn't take longer than a weekend to complete. So follow me as I break it down in this short video. For today's project, we'll need a circular saw or hand saw, a drill and bit set, a tape measure, your carpenter square, a palm sander, four two by two by 16 foot pine boards, another two by two by eight foot pine board, exterior wood glue, two and a half inch screws, sandpaper, your safety goggles, your preferred finish, whether that's stain, varnish or paint, your pencil and your gloves. Before we kick things off, just note that we're gonna be assembling our bench upside down to ensure that there are no visible screws in our finished product. Make sure you've got your safety goggles on before you cut your lumber. You're gonna need 32 pieces at 15 and three quarters inches long and eight pieces at 47 inches long. While they may seem on the small end, another key player in today's project is our spacers. Cut four, one and 11 32nd inch long spacers. Before beginning the assembly process, I prefer to get all the sanding and staining or painting out of the way. But today we'll be working with unfinished material. As you can see, I've already pre-cut everything. And now that you've got your wood ready, it's assembly time. We're gonna start by making the frame of our seat. Create an L using a long and a short piece. As you can see, I've used a spacer to support the other side of my short piece. Next, you're gonna mark out with a pencil where you're gonna drill, making sure that the X is off center. As you can see, I've already pre-drilled my holes to kind of save time on this project. Hold the corners flush, checking, double checking everything with your carpenter square, and then pre-drill your pilot holes. Put a bit of glue on the end of the long side, like this. And screw your short piece into place. Once you've got that done, continue on with the other side. Carefully wipe away any excess glue that may be leaking out from the sides of your wood and keep your edges flush throughout the entire project. While the step may seem simple, it's actually really important to, in making sure that your finished product has those straight lines we're looking for. Now it's time to join the two L's and turn them into a frame. Put four of the long boards in between the frame. And add spacers between every board while making sure that the ends are flush with the outer end pieces. Drill, glue, and screw in the ends of the long pieces to the frame. And you're now gonna have the top of your seat ready. We can go ahead and remove those spacers. You can keep them for another project or get rid of them. Mark 12 and three quarters of an inch away from the end of your seat and place the support pieces perpendicular to your long slats. Thank you. 
Make sure your ends are flush with the long slats, then drill, glue, and screw them into place. Repeat this for the other side. Take the remaining two long pieces, drill, glue, and secure them to your short four pieces. In this phase, we're gonna complete the seat. It involves quite a bit of screws, so you're gonna wanna alternate the placement of your pilot holes so that your two screws don't run into each other. And that's the top of our seat complete. Next, we're gonna be grabbing 14 short pieces to start the assembly on one of our legs. Screwing in your outer end piece, you're gonna be measuring 12 and three quarters of an inch from the end to mark out where your next leg is gonna be going. Once you've got that marked, go ahead and screw in one of your short pieces. It reminds me a bit of a ladder because you're gonna be repeatedly adding two short pieces at a time and form the height of the legs that you want them to be. We're gonna grab another two pieces and add them to our leg. If you want your bench to be taller, simply add more short pieces to the legs. Once complete, hop over to the other side and do the same thing. And that's a wrap. Don't be afraid to mix it up when it comes to painting your bench and really making it your own understated colors on the legs with a bright top, or maybe just neutral tones to blend in with your environment. If you're inspired and decide to try your hand at this project, let us know if you have any questions and be sure to tag us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for following along with us here at Coyman and I hope you enjoyed this video.